So are you training till failure? And if you aren't training to failure, why aren't you? And I have some tips that will help you understand mentally how to prepare yourself to train to failure coming up. What's going on is you do that guy health and BF Men's Physique Pro. Soon we'll step on my first NPC stage coming up this March 2020. So listen, I got a couple of things that we're going to talk about. Although a short video, a very beneficial video and definitely something that you should apply to your routine or your training. All right. These are some of the things that I use. So listen, in some of our routines, we're going to train in a tempo and a certain set of reps. All right. And that's all we're going to do. It has been said that sometime training that way all the time will stagnate your growth or your gains. OK, so sometimes you want to change that up, whether it's your tempo changing, your rep, your sets. But how about going to a failure as many reps as possible, putting as much intensity, as much pressure, as much blood flow as we can into these muscle groups so that we can maximize our gains. All of these things are important and doing them different parts of times in your training, mixing it up will help you not only stay from being bored with your training, but definitely help you grow as you go on, whether it's an athlete, a bodybuilder or just functional day to day life. So listen, I'm going to tell you something that's going to help you prepare yourself, not only just your body, but mentally how to go to failure, because nine times out of 10, your mental it's what's going to keep you going to failure. And you say, how is that? I'm pushing the body. What the heck does my mind have to do with it? Your mind has to do a lot with it. Okay. So as we go on and we start training and we're repping it out, one thing that we start to feel, if not fatigue, is a burning sensation in the muscle group that we're training. Given that you have the proper form and you're in the right muscle group, of course, you start feeling a burning sensation kick on. That's the muscle reach of fatigue, really high intensity, a lot of blood flow getting in there. It's really been volumized, all right? So at that point, your mind kicks in and it wants you to rack the weight or stop. I mean, it's basically your body's way of trying to self-preserve itself from any damage or injury. But we know we're in good form. Definitely, you probably should have a spot and you should be able to push yourself. If not, you're machine training. But here are a couple of things that you could do to try to prepare your mind to push yourself beyond that point where it says, I want to stop because I'm feeling a pain. Given it, like I said, barring you an injury or you feel something that isn't right. We're just talking about the pure burning sensation of you getting good reps, getting good set, a good intensity workout. Okay. That's what we're talking about. I'm not trying to put you in any harm's way or tell you to harm yourself. That's what we're solely talking about that alone. So we want to get the mind to understand that this is a good thing. And I want to push past the point of you telling me to stop because you think I'm about to injure myself. What you can do is start just doing this and basically mentally getting past this point. So what you can do are push ups. All right. We're talking about doing some exercises that it's all body. You don't need a spot. It's easy to bail. Less chances of injury going past failure and really fatiguing your muscle. OK, so with the push ups, boom, regular, good, typical push up form, whether you're going to come in close or you're going to go medium or going to go wide. Either way, maybe just mix it up. But doing push ups and pushing yourself to the point where you can't get another push up out and going past the point where your mind says, I'm fatigued, I want to stop. Or oh, the burning sensation is too much, I think I'm going to get injured, I want to stop. It's a great exercise to practice and mentally condition yourself to go past or beyond or to the point of failure, okay? This way, you're in a push up, you're very close to the ground, you don't have any additional weight on you, there's nothing you're gonna drop on yourself. Given you have good form, all you have to do is basically drop out. That three to four inches drop, maybe 10 inch drop with a nice arm cushion should be good. You shouldn't damage yourself, you shouldn't injure yourself, and that way you could prepare your mind to go beyond that burning sensation and actually reach a real muscular failure, okay? Push ups is the first one I would say try to get yourself into that mental capacity. The next one is I would say pull ups. Okay, although a little bit more risky than push ups because we're up on a system or a bar or a half rack or a full rack, your body should be no more at the bottom of your feet, probably a foot off of the ground. So 
being that you're working upper body here and you can easily drop off the bar in a foot distance drop and cushion and be fine this is something that i feel comfortable telling you to also utilize in order to take yourself and mentally prepare yourself to go to failure so pull-ups is another great exercise that i utilize to mentally condition my mind to always know i want to push past this burning sensation i want to reach real failure i want to get the most out of my muscle that i can i will do pull-ups none weighted all body weight only and pull until I can't pull anymore. And most what's going to happen is you're going to fully go on a centric. You're not going to be able to pull yourself back up. You're simply going to drop those few inches and be totally safe. OK, given that you practice good form, you don't have an uneven platform underneath you and you have good footwear on. OK, so pull ups and push ups are two exercises that I would say you should try to utilize to mentally prepare your mind to go to actual failure. OK, so listen. I told you, although a short video, very beneficial information, something that you definitely should throw into your training regimen, something that I use and it has helped me this season as I'm building to participate in my first NPC show in men's physique up in Ohio. It's definitely helping me with my gains. I had a DEXA scan not too long ago. I lost about 8.3, 8.9 the body fat and I only lost 0.1 a lean muscle mass. So basically getting myself and pushing myself when I'm in these training sessions sessions to keep my muscle growth going under the situations where we're tapering the food off has, I believe, helped me. I will have another DEXA scan. I do have a DEXA scan video and I'll try to remember to put a card up here or up here to that DEXA scan video. So I will have an update coming four to five weeks out from the show. But that's it for today. Train your mind to go beyond that burning sensation and reach actual failure will help you increase your gains. As I always say, be safe. Let's build together and peace.